keep this honey muscles pulling in and up. We're going to center ourselves with a little bit of a core activation. So feet hip width apart. You don't need any special clothes on, any shoes on for this. You can literally roll out of bed and do this one in your pajamas if you are still in your pajamas. So if you're sitting there watching this in your pajamas, will you stand up and join me? So you're pulling the belly button in, lifting the muscles of the pelvic floor. So you're sweeping everything in and up, creating a nice strong foundation. Just by doing that, you'll probably feel your length through the crown of the head, slightly tuck under, so maybe you're somebody, I know I'm somebody who tends to tuck a little bit and tilt a little bit in the pelvis. You might be the other way, you might go under with the pelvis. So you're just finding that neutral position, so you might just want to rock through and find something that feels neutral, but usually engaging through the core will set you up into a nice neutral position. We're literally going to start nice and basic. And just rolling through the foot onto the toe if you want to, lifting the foot up at the floor. So we're scooping through the tummy muscles, more nicely engaged, lifting the foot, finding the length through the crown of your head. And again, you might want to just focus something on the floor just ahead of you or just ahead of you. Um, instead of looking directly at me, you might just want to find a focus point. So this is going to be really good for building core strength, building all your stabilisation muscles. But it's also really good for the mind. You know what, I'm going to put some more slower music on, so I want you to keep that going. Let's just put some slower music on so you can focus. Maybe that beat. A little bit too enthusiastic with that beat. This will probably go the other way and be too slow actually, but... Let's see. So again, now each time I want you to see if you can bring that foot up a little bit higher, scooping through the tummy muscles, grounding your feet. So the standing leg, if you feel like you're gripping the floor with the foot, I want you to spread the foot down into the mat. So every time you place the foot down, spread it through the floor, ground it, and then you'll feel more supported to lift the other leg. So we're going to gradually build up from this. Now if you're feeling really wobbly, I want you to start with your feet wider, scoop through the tummy muscles, gradually shifting through and then coming over to the other side as well. Scooping through the tummy muscles, lifting up again, using the core. And we're going to build up from this. So from your knee lift, we're going to extend the leg, point through the toes and again just shifting side to side, scooping in and up, extending through the leg into the centre and again finding the left scooping the core extending it doesn't have to be a big lift so again if you're coming up to just a tap you might just be extending the leg lower towards the floor bringing it back to a tap and then shifting sides so really take your time you don't have to rush through any balance again, it's all about finding that centre so your mind is going to be working hopefully as well and centering and that will rein in, in any kind of busy to-do lists or busy thoughts for the day because you're so focused on maintaining that balance. So we're going to add on to this, we're going to circle the leg around to the side. So you're scooping the tummy muscles, lifting the leg, extending the leg out in front. Now if you can, try and keep your hips even so we're not lifting the hip up. I'm going to circle the leg around towards the back of the room bring that leg back into neutral. Scoop the tummy muscles, lifting, again find that centre, find that focus, extending the leg, circle it around, so again it can be low to the floor, it can even be tapped onto the floor here, so you might want to just tap the toe, tap it out in front, circle it around, keeping it low to the floor and then bring it in. You're still going to be working on your balance, so you don't feel like you have to bring the leg high and create some big shapes. It can be really small, you can still get such good benefits from this. Especially if you struggle with your balance. Balance is always really good, it's gonna help us when we get older. It's going to help us in any other activity that we're doing, any other exercise, any other workout. We've got a good stabilization muscles, good balance, good support, then everything else works better as well. So again, we're gonna add on from here, lifting through, extending through the leg, we circle the leg around towards the back of the room, 
pausing there for a moment and see if you can just reach out ahead of you a little bit further, lifting the leg, lifting the arms, bringing yourself back to neutral and then going again. So scoop the tummy muscles, lifting the leg, extending out in front, circle the leg out and around. So really basic stuff, but again, you might find this really challenging. So don't worry if you do. Practice. If you prefer just to reach the hands down by your side, that's fine as well. Taking your time. So we're going to add on to that. So again, finding your balance, extending the leg, circle round, reaching out ahead of you, and then we're going to see if we can bring it through, back to a knee lift, and back down to the floor. So again, scooping in and up, finding your balance. Again, you can keep it low, so you might be tapping down, circle around to the back. It might just be a really small lift there, and then maybe you're coming back through to a tap instead of a knee lift. Still trying to focus on creating balance. So even if your foot is tapped, your weight is still into that standing leg, you're still focusing on controlling through, which again is going to start to build those stabilisation muscles. Side, so it doesn't matter which side you're on, but we're going to stay on one side and we're going to see if we can do three repetitions just going through on one side. So shake it out so once you've finished the breath that you've done. Find a neutral position, slight bend into the knees, again reset, scoop the tummy muscles, keep the core engaged. Lifting through, finding your balance again, it doesn't matter which leg. I'm just going to let Nina out. Coming out. Balance, scoop the tummy muscles, lifting the leg, extending the leg out in front again. It can be tapped to the floor, circle round, try and go smoothly round, leaning forwards into it into your warrior three. Then we're bringing the knee through or a tap to go again, extending the leg, circle round. So, this is our second repetition, leaning through. And again, you might be going slower than me, that's absolutely fine. Trying to maintain Just three repetitions. You might feel that standing leg really working. Try not to grip the floor. Try and spread the foot down into the mat. Let's switch sides. Three repetitions on the other side. So feel free to shake out that standing leg. Again, scooping in and up. Finding your balance. Sending the leg through. Circle round. side feels a lot better than the other. Last time. Bring it through. Knees down. Okay, let's just find a 10 second balance on each side. Scoop through the tummy muscles, lift the leg, keep it tapped if you want to. You can always bring the arms up. Thank you. 